Hello students, I welcome you to the part 2 video of Tippity the Flying Squirrel. Today we are going to see the summary about the squirrel. The squirrel was small and it always used to climb the curtain poles of the author's house and you will see about the room of Tippity. It is a box which consists of two rooms inner inner room where the bed is laid the feather the nest consists of feathers and cottons for it to sleep and the another one is outer one and it is bigger in size the sitting room so if daily activity is when it used to wake up it used to make a noise and then straight away it go to the outer room nearby the table is there there it used to stretch its hind limbs that is back legs and fore limbs and front leg and it used to go for toilet after finishing the toilet it just jumps to the shoulder of author it was its daily practice and when we see about its company two dogs were the company one is Don who is in the field and another one is Shaggy Sheep Dog Shaggy Sheep Dog Brock. So, its name is Brock, Don and Brock. They were the two companions. So, whenever it used to go for walk, the three go for walk along with the author. So, it has bushy tails. Whenever the disaster or some danger comes, it used to hide in the bushy tail. So they were companions. And when we talk about smeal, it likes custard so much. It likes custard so much. And you know, obviously, it likes the nuts. Within 10 minutes, it can make a hole in the nuts and it can have. So such type of strong teeth it has because it is a rodent. And Especially the squirrel used to wake up at night. It used to wake up at night. So the author used to feed the squirrel with custard so that it will not wake up in the middle of the night and give trouble to author. As it was going like that, whenever they go for a walk, Ruthlessly it will be pulled. The squirrel will be pulled from the room and it will be taken for the walk. For first few minutes it will be very easy for walk. Later on sometimes it jumps on author's shoulder and it will sit comfortably or on the back of dog or shaggy dog brock and sometimes if she sees any nibble the tender leaves it climbs up on the trees oak tree the other tree and begin to eat the tender leaves and it is not choosy it can eat all the nibble leaves especially oak and the other. And especially when it gets angry, everyone of the author's family, even the two dogs, Brock and Don, they know how it screams. It screams ten times more than the 
big animal and especially when it drinks milk when it drinks milk it used to insert all its mouth and nose together inside the milk it cannot lick and drink and it does not have the patience to lick and drink so sometimes it gets sneeze and flutter so this is one of the bad habit she has and as usual with the meal during the dining time it always used to be chained up because it used to be doing so nuisance and sometimes it tail touches the custard and makes dirty because it is a red pure red color squirrel and it has a bushy tail so the author always used to tie it up once it was in veranda it was tied up and the chain got unfastened and it was carrying the chain it was pulling the chain and it was going on but a fox came and caught the squirrel in that way the squirrel passed away we have seen the squirrel activities from the waking up till the death till its death we have seen an author loved squirrel so much and he also felt very bad for the death of the squirrel and this is the summary of tpt the flying squirrel thank you